this morning, as you can already see, is going to be Dr. Jalaja Menon from Kerala Agricultural University. I would just like to tell you that uh, Dr. Jalaja is one person who has been working very closely with the farmers in the plantations. Uh, she is a PhD. Her entire education has been through and through with Kerala Agricultural University. And uh, she has been instrumental in contributing many new technologies, not only to Kerala Agricultural University. He's, she's been a part of... Uh, release of many new species of uh, spices and cashews. She has 46 printed research papers. She has specifically developed technologies for seven value-added products for cashew, which has already been approved by the government of India as well. Somebody who's been working very closely with farmers, this is the perfect and the apt platform for her to come up and talk a little bit about the grassroots of the cashew plantation and what could be the way forward as she dives deep into the innovative technologies for commercial utilization of cashew apple. In the entire cashew value chain, if there is one product which has been highly sidelined, it has been the cashew apple. Thankfully, I come from a state called Goa who have made the perfect use of cashew apple and we look forward to that one month of the day, one month of the year, every year. But there are many more new product lines coming up and we have Dr. Jalaja coming up on the stage to talk more about it. Let me thank the ICA team for giving me such an opportunity to present a topic that is entirely different from what is being done here in this business that is validation of cashew apple. My special thanks to Sri Srival sir, sir for making this event or uh, for materializing this presentation because I'm coming from Kerala Agriculture University and uh, we are, as a part of uh, a research community, we are more into research and we are very closely associated with the farmers. We, are, we know the pulse of farmer, but now after coming here, I had talked with many traders and uh, some business people, and they are even telling the, the things that are being done by the farmers, what make them very unsaid. Because the farmers may not be aware of what the trader or the uh, processors looking for. And they are complaining many, complaining about many things. We are hearing that in any discussion, they will come with so many complaints. But I think this was a very good opportunity for me. And I had a discussion with many of uh, the traders and the business people. And I think I can contribute these to the farmer group in turn. And uh, uh, here that uh, the uh, talk was on cashew nut RCN and now we will talk on cashew apple in an entirely different topic. Uh, I think uh, this is only an introduction of how it can be utilized, why it is to be used, why we are working for cashew apple utilization, is it required? Yes, with this introduction, I will show you one plantation of cashew, what is happening in the plantation at the time of harvest and the post-harvest handling. Because apart from being a scientist, I'm handling 90 acres of cashew plantation. So we know what is happening in the ground level. Here we see the after harvest, they are extracting the nuts and the apples are being wasted. And if we utilize a minimum of 30 percentages of this apple, that can contribute to the income of the country. I will show a video.
see how the apples are throwing away and um, i had a chance one farmer asked me madam could you develop a variety without any apple because this apple is a burden for them to carry this much lot this has relevance right now in our country because we have many varieties we see the apple nut ratio the apple to nut ratio is around 8 to uh, 8 is to 1 that is 5 5 to 8 is to 1 that means from 9 kg of the fruit harvested basket is this the point yes from this 9 kg of fruit that is harvested from the field we will get only 1 kg of rcn you are very familiar with rcn but i am more familiar with this burden in farmers from this 9 kg we will get 1 kg of rcn and from 1 kg of rcn you will get 280 to 300 grams of kernel okay if you this is a dream only i don't know whether it will materialize or not because if we utilize with the current production of the country 7.7 lakh ton and with the current apple nut ratio of 8 as to 1 we can expect around 60 lakh ton of cashew apple production in the country it is being wasted there is no other fruit in the country it is being wasted in such a way and it's true that we cannot utilize the entire fruit or the entire apple if we utilize 40 percentage of this 60 percentage of that apple we will get 40 lakhs ton of apple for utilization and if we put a price of 20 for this apple when the rcn is at 100 we may get the same income from the apple as that of rcn it can't happen it is a dream only but if we utilize 30 percentage of the apple that means 10 to 12 tons of apple in the country for value added products with a bc ratio above 2 we are sure that that can contribute to the national income no doubt why this is important now a day is that we have developed varieties the Uh, the research on cashew was started in 1952 in india systematic research and ad hoc schemes world bank projects and all the initial that uh, launching was in 1952 kerala was also a part of this and uh, we are now developing varieties which are with high apple weight that is the worry of the farmers because these are the selection criteria that we have given from the higher authorities for, for fixing a variety suitable so you can see that variety this is a variety with apple weight 250 g can you imagine how the farmer will handle this so it has to get some income and these are all with 80 g so now almost all plantations are replaced with improved varieties and all the improved varieties are with high apple nut ratio that is apple weight is more than 80 g and we see that scientifically in cashew the true fruit is rcn or the nut in the process of development the nut matures first then start the stalk that apple is only a stalk that is attached the true fruit rcn it is not a fruit not at all a fruit in scientific term so uh, the first the nut will develop after full maturity of nut the stalk that is attached to the plant develop that is the apple that is happening in the plant and the color image vary from uh, purple uh, that rose orange red crimson red yellow so many colors are there whatever it may be the nut matures first then the apple okay is it apple only is the economic product from cashew apple for us it is not because apples are the product that are being used by the um, rural sector long back and we have many traditional products uh, these are the traditional preparations in kerala and now we have the commercial product and apart from this the uh, the green cashew kernel which is being used in maharashtra and to some extent in the Um, rural culinaries in Kerala, 
and we this is the variety without any cnsl that is cashew nut shell liquid if we get a variety like this it is very easy to utilize this green kernel and this is another product that was launched from kerala agriculture university in 2021 august that is cashew sprout that is germinated cashew nut this has many nutritional advantage but very low shelf life and researchers are going on in this line to make it um, make it available in the supermarket as green peas frozen green peas yes the world trade we are talking about rcn ck cashew kernel and the cnsl cashew nut shell liquid apart from this cashew nut shell liquid this cardinal is a main item for revenue for the state throughout the presentation i will be dealing with this value added products why we have to use cashew apple because it has all the qualities of a fruit as uh, it is high in juice with substantial amount of acidity and substantial amount of sugar so it can be used as that of any other fruit no doubt it qualifies all qualities of a fruit so it can be utilized as that of all other fruit and it has many health benefits when you look into the literature you can see its um, gastro protective activity that can be uh, linked to the traditional use for um, stomach ache and all it has anti diabetic property it has anti cancerous property anti inflammatory anti microbial so many health benefits are there it has all reported and coming to the nutritional property it is rich in vitamin c it is rich in vitamin c that means it is rich in antioxidant that means it has uh, an um, anti cancerous property it is rich in flavanols so the fruit is very rich in nutritional components it has many health benefits but the villain is the tannin with all this no our brain has to accept the fruit because of that tannin that is that caustic irritation or that astringency we cannot accept the taste of cashew apple so we need a technology to remove this tannin actually tannin to a certain extent it has many health benefits so in order to make it palatable to make the tongue enjoy the taste we need to remove the tannin so our university has standardized technology for the removal of tannin without much reduction in the nutritional qualities is uh, use of cashew apple is a new thing no when we look into the history uh, when the uh, cashew was identified in the brazil in 1557 1548 and all andre tivet was the first to introduced cashew apple to the world by his drawing in that drawing you can see that it is being used for the apple they will collect the apple they will skews and that will be preserved for the consumption there was even laws prohibiting the cutting of cashew tree at that time because that was a subsistence crop for them during the summer periods so this is a long practice uh, utilizing cashew apple this is not a new thing we are not introducing any new thing but after having so many tastes we try to have a better taste so we want a product without any tannin and in india cashew apples are used in uh, the state goa and the product finni that is a fermented distilled product that has got the geographical indication in 2009 and it was declared as the uh, heritage drink by the state government in 2016 or 18 Kerala Agriculture University has trying to develop non fermented non alcoholic products from cashew apple and we have launched the cashew apple processing unit as early as in 1997 yes this is the history then how it can be utilized is it only for the juice no it has many other uh, uses it can be used for so many preparations confectioneries and some traditional recipes apart from that what i want to highlight is its use in biofuel 
I know that there are some works going in this line to develop biofuels from cashew apple. If we get a technology for the commercial production of biofuel from cashew apple, which is economically feasible and a viable technology, I know that there is no doubt in getting maximum RC into you processes because the value of cashew tree will be elevated to some other crop because of the use of this cashew apple for biofuels. The works in that lines are going on. We hope by within five or 10 years, we, we may end up with a commercial utilization of cashew apple for biofuel. Yes, now we'll see some of the utilization in Brazil where 10 to 12 percentage of apples are utilized. I have not been to Brazil, but these are all from literature because uh, they store the apple in a at modified atmospheric storage for 21 days as a fresh consumption. And for juice products, they store it under freeze condition for the year round production. And uh, there are around 12 processing uh, plants in Brazil. This is the juice product range from Brazil. Then why can't we India into this? That is my question. Yes, my message is that just to utilize this, just to utilize this apple for the consumption of juice. Just squeeze the juice, add some starch, whatever it may be, let allow it to settle for a while, then you will get a very clear juice as clear as tender coconut water, as sweet as tender coconut water. And it has a peculiar fruity aroma of cashew apple. Enjoy the drink because I'm, what I'm trying to popularize is consumption of this juice by the people, local people. It is not to the metro city. To coming, to, for coming this product to the metro city, we need some preservation technology and all. First, we need to develop a good consumer profile. We want consumers to buy this cashew apple products. Then only we can promote this uh, processing. These are some of the traditional recipes uh, that are uh, popular in Kerala, in the rural sector. Usually, there was a practice in Kerala to distill cashew apple, and that was prohibited by law. And now what the farmers are doing that they will take the juice and they will preserve it with some uh, spices and it is uh, used for the stomach cake and all. And these are other some culinary preparations. Yes. And these are the new recipes tried by many people after by the help of direct rate of cashew and cocoa development. We are, conducting, we are conducting massive campaign for popularization of cashew apple and its use. And by that, uh, that collaboration, we have ended up with so many new products, even including cashew honey shake. Yes, these are the commercial products where Kerala Agriculture University has worked. And uh, we have developed more than 30 value added products. And uh, we have technology for the tannin removal and storing that ap cashew apple for one year, because the fruit will be available only for 90 days in an year. This fruit and the juice has to be preserved for the year-round production. So we have, uh, very recently, we have developed from red road pouch packing for the cashew apple juice without reducing that uh, vitamin C content. And uh, th th these are some of the product. And now, Kerala Agriculture University has technology ready to transfer cashew apple syrup, cashew apple jam, cashew apple pickle, Cashew apple carbonated drink, cashew apple candy, cashew apple toffee, cashew apple energy bar, spray dried cashew apple juice as that of Fresna and Osmo dehydrated cashew apple. Of this, the top favorite item is the carbonated drink. I will show one video rather than explaining the product. Please, video.
that is the carbonated drink from cashew apple it is very refreshing and it contain 30 mg of vitamin c yes i will rush into the other videos we have given the technology to so many government public sector people and they are now into this production and the success story as uh, i know i can uh, highlight this plantation corporation of kerala and they are into this business for the last 4 years and their mo most popular uh, product is the carbonated drink oceana yes uh, some other uh, private parties has also the taken the technology from so far after the development of technology during my last 6 six years experience i have given the technology to more than 10 entrepreneurs and they are into this they have just entered into this uh, stage and we have the technology package for rupees very nominal price uh, to kerala agriculture university and uh, that is uh, for rupees 20000 for this all these products and uh, tannin removal we have spray dried product dehydrated cashew apple spray dried product and uh, next we have an energy bar with 200 kilo calories and this is a, a toffee like khamar khat and this is the soft candy and uh, the, all these products are with a bc ratio about 2 and exceptionally car carbonated drink has a bc ratio of above 5 that is highly profitable venture and uh, the missionaries at a low cost missionaries for a small scale processing unit we want a juicer we want an autoclave on carbonation unit other things can be manual manually done and we have a semi automated juice line of rupees 30 lakhs for this and with uh, this can be these are some priorities i skip this slide and how you can avail the technology you can avail the technology from kerala agriculture university by directly writing to the director of research kerala agriculture university they you can get the invoice they can you can um, uh, submit your requirement then with an agreement between the entrepreneur and the kerala agriculture university in a stamp paper you can avail the technology with a convenient date from cashew research station madakatara yes i conclude my presentation with a short video as a take home message of cashew apple processing india is one of the leading producers and suppliers in the world cashew market cashew nuts and other cashew products are pulled from over 46 countries earning top dollar worldwide a cashew tree produces 5 to 8 kilograms of cashew apples for every kilogram of raw cashew nuts while the nuts are highly prized in the market the apples are mostly discarded in large quantities it is unfortunate that these nutritious and versatile fruits are not commercially utilized except in a few countries around the world In India, cashew apples are widely used in the state of Goa for the production of the traditional drink known as cashew apple fenny, which contains up to 42% alcohol. Field workers sometimes consume the apples while working in the field during harvest season. Although the apples are juicy and fragrant when ripe, their strong astringency limits wide consumption in the coastal state of kerala cashew apples are used in many traditional delicacies such as sweet toffees halwas and other culinary preparations many of these are usually prepared only on a home scale kerala agricultural university has developed technology for removing astringency and utilizing cashew apples for commercial value added products of these the non fermented cashew apple carbonated beverage with 0% alcohol is a top favorite accepted well by consumers nationwide cashew apple syrup is another popular product which can be consumed after diluting with chilled water dehydrated products like candy cashew apple toffee cashew energy bars cashew apple jam and pickles are also popular 
the technologies for production of these commercial value added products can be availed from the kerala agricultural university based on a memorandum of understanding for more information please contact the cashew research station madakethra thrissur the station is happy to receive enthusiastic entrepreneurs with this message i thank you all